Good morning. How you doing? Are you good? Good. <laughs> I realize that some of you may not be good. And so I don't mean to make light of that, you know what I mean? And I know I did this whole video on what's good the other day and being frustrated with the meaning of the word um, and the development of the word and all that other stuff and I'm, I'm trying to understand it but I, it, I know what it means to me so I'm going to keep using it just like I use morning is it a good morning? you know, what is good morning? I do actually think of of mourning, like grieving, <laughs> grieving, you know, but I think the point of it is, is that it isn't grieving anymore, you know, like grieving is like, you know, the process is, it still hurts, but mourning is like acknowledging the loss and getting over it, waking up rising up again for another day, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I realize that I have to, uh, you know, it just has to be careful. Just, just, just does some shit, you know? Like fucking Mars Square, you're honest, man. <laughs> uh, and you're honest in Libra. Square Mars. The seventh house, like, dude, I just, I just make up, like, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just, like, yeah, maybe I do make up. I make up reasons to make up. That's exactly what I do. And my Mercury is trying that Uranus. So, like, the Mars squares it. So it's like the Mars, like, and, and, and because it, the whole fucking mechanism is so intricate <laughs> that I have to be, like, really well aware of how I set it off. Because it's a whole thing. So if it gets set off, you know, like I could, it gets, it's like, okay, I could have a thought, right? I could have like a whole thought or even a portion of a thought because I have Mercury and Gemini, right? So a thought and, um... Interestingly enough, in my study with asteroids, um, I have Nessus conjunct my Mercury. So a lot of time, I have this like damaging thought or communication from something, right? So this is if it gets tipped off by the Mercury. <laughs> the Mercury goes to the, is trying to Uranus in the ninth house, Uranus and Libra. So, from there, it's fu- uh, uh, you know, just leave me alone. Like, just leave me alone. <laughs> just leave me alone to get into my study. I'm not hurting anybody. You know? But anyway, so... The way that it works, or what I'm understanding now, you know, as I really consider the mechanical operation of it, because we cannot discount that, we're in the 3D, it's all mechanical, it's all fucking, it's all, it's all mechanical. By the way, I got this from, um, Wands 55. Thanks. This was the only thing I got from anybody that wasn't cursed. So I want to say thank you. Thank you for that. Everything else I purchased from anybody else in that, like, from that group, 
It's all cursed. All cursed. Every single thing. And even the energetic exchanges. But I'm really grateful. So one's 55, you know. I hope you're good. Um, but yeah. It makes me sad. Because what happens is, right? Here's the, ex here, here we can go, right? Okay, so I go, my thought is trying to Uranus. Like my Mercury, like my Mercury is conjunct Saturn. Um... <laughs> So I don't have a lot of good thoughts. <laughs> As goes relationships with people. Libra. Right? <laughs> you guys don't understand how hard my chart actually is. <sighs> because then, right, so then the 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 Uranus, like, the way I think, okay, so it's like the thought gets tossed over to Uranus in the ninth house, so I lift it up, I lift up into, like, the highest point. My Uranus is conjunct my MC, which is a Scorpio. <laughs> You know, um, so, uh, I got a lot of wet stars here, too. I got a lot of wet stars, so if this bothers you, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, from the Uranus in Libra, in the ninth house, like, I make it, like, I elevate it. And I and I reason with it and I want it. I want it. Best case scenario. Best case scenario. That's what I want. Right? <laughs> so, um Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a fucking shit show. I just wanna study. And <laughs> walk around in the woods. <laughs> and play. <laughs> it was my fifth house son. But anyway, okay. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> now the Uranus is opposite Venus. <laughs> So my heart just breaks. Because if you can see the highest, you can see, you know? I see all this, like, but it, like, comes out in some shit, right? It just, like, totally fucking, like, My heart, you know? My heart. Um. <laughs> so then, 
my heart is like broken, you know? And I don't know. Then it's like I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> because <laughs> I got Mars at 22 degrees Cancer. 